What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toya, and I'm here to do a reading for you guys. So hit that like and subscribe button. Click on for the likes and subscribe thus far. And let's get into this video here, okay? This is actually a channel message. I channeled this maybe about two days ago. So I'm going to read you guys what I picked up on when I was channeling here, okay? So I actually picked up on the fact that you guys are actually feeling a, a lot of love from your support system here, okay? So whoever your support system is, I feel like you're getting a lot of love from them. You're feeling real good here, okay? Um... I feel like whatever you're doing, you're going to start posting more or you are starting to post more here, okay? The more you post, the more love that you are going to receive here. Some of you guys, you just don't really post whatever it is that you do online or you're just not into posting online like that. But I'm getting like some of y'all might have posted something online recently or some of you guys, maybe you're building an online store. It's something that you're doing online where, like I said, you don't typically like to post online or maybe you haven't typically been posting online, but I'm getting you're getting a lot of love and support, okay? Or you're about to be getting a lot of love and support here, okay? Some of you guys, if you already have an online presence or you already post online a lot, there may be a need to go live. So some of you guys, you may need to go live. You're going live for the first time or you're going to go live more. I feel like you're going to gain a lot of support from that here, okay? Um, Some of you guys, like I said, you're going to be going live or there's a need to go live here, okay? Now, I do feel like whatever you're doing, you have everything you need. You're going to go actually very far in whatever you're doing, but you have everything you need uh, to start this business up. So some of you guys, like I said, you're building an online store. Some of you guys, you have a business or you have your own business or like you want your business to go in a, a different direction here, okay? But you guys need to know that you have everything that you need to go very far in whatever it is that you are doing here, okay? You don't necessarily need a very expensive camera. You don't necessarily need need to look a certain type of way you don't need your hair done a certain type of way okay um all you need is the knowledge that you have or whatever it is that you do your talent all you need is the knowledge you have and your talent whatever it is that you got that's all you need at this point in time um i'm hearing it's going to pay for itself i'm hearing your work speaks for itself here okay um but i did put that you guys are very gifted and very very talented here okay so whatever you're doing is going to speak for itself you have everything you need if you do tarot you don't need any fancy cards first time i ever did tarot i wrote them bitches by myself okay so it's something like that here where you are very gifted you are very very talented here and you already have everything you need to go very far you can record off your phone okay um I also feel like a lot of you guys, like I said, it's like you're in a really, really good state. I feel like y'all have worked on your mental health. A lot of emphasis on you working on your mental health. Some of you guys, you've worked on your mental state. Um, so now I feel like you guys could be shifting your focus. You're trying to focus on something different or something new. So I feel like a lot of you guys, um, you're like focusing more so on your health, your body, your beauty. Because you can do that. If I'm good mentally, if you're good mentally, why not start focusing on something else? If you feel like, okay, now that I got my mental health under control or I know I'm good mentally or whatever's going on mentally, I know I'm, I'm basically balanced. Everything is at peace. Sorry about that. But now that I know everything is at peace for me, I can start working on my body. I can start working on my health here. I can start working on my wealth here, okay? My beauty, whatever it is that you want. And I feel like you're doing this in a very, very healthy way here, okay? Um... Now, I do feel like there's something here that you may have done or said a while ago. Um, somebody's realizing that something you said a while ago is actually really, really true and you were not being crazy. Like somebody tried to make you out to be crazy or make you out to be like weird or something. Um, but like I said, now it's like somebody's like coming back around to something that you said a while ago. Now, up here, I have put this. Some of y'all, y'all might have exposed some dark family secrets, whether this is your own family secrets or somebody else's family secrets. There's something you said a while ago that you could have been like, man, I think Uncle Peter is a weirdo. And somebody's like, yeah, they're just being crazy. They're just being psycho. Like, and then they left it alone. But now they're starting to see like, no. Uncle Peter is a weirdo. Like, they were right. Like, something you said a while ago is wrapping back around here, okay? Somebody's, like, realizing somebody just tried to make you look crazy. For some of y'all, like, let's say you said Uncle Peter was weird, right? Uncle Peter tried to make you look like you... It's like Uncle Peter gaslit everybody to make you feel like you were lying or to make it seem like you were lying here, okay? So, it's something of that nature here where you said something about somebody and maybe everybody else thought you were crazy because this person was like, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're crazy as fuck, okay? So, I am seeing that somebody's realizing like, no, that is actually true. 
uncle whoever is crazy or let's say you weren't even directly talking about anybody that uh, specific some of y'all y'all could have just been talking in general because some of y'all i'm getting like somebody else was triggered by what you said and because it matched up with their family so some of y'all y'all wasn't talking about your own family you could have been talking about something toxic in general and it matched up with their own family or their own bloodline and they end up getting triggered here um but whatever you said ended up to be true it's like they're wrapping back around to it like nah you was right, like, this person's off their shits here. Like, my dad is weird, or my, or uncle, whoever, cousin, whoever is weird, okay? Um, now, whoever this person is, this person may have, like, a really, really strong personality disorder here, okay? And they might have been in a, they may have been in a strong state of psychosis here, okay? Um, but this person was, like, in Tokyo Tony type of energy. Now, I'm getting, like, this person, I don't know what this person did to you, but I'm getting, you're getting the okay to hit somebody back. <laughs> somebody get, I don't know if this is spiritually, but I put, but only if they hit you first. So some of y'all, I don't know if somebody came up and hit you. I do not condone any violence, so I wouldn't say hit their ass back, but I am getting like, if somebody hit you, some of y'all might be getting the okay to hit their ass back. I put in parentheses, knock them out the box, Rick. Knock them out the box, Rick. Knock them out, Rick. But I also know that sometimes when it says hit, it doesn't mean actually hit. It means somebody spiritually hit your ass. And um, maybe you didn't know what to do or maybe you didn't want to fight back spiritually or you want to protect your energy. Some of y'all getting that okay to hit their ass back to return to sender, okay? Um, some of you guys, I also put in parentheses, being ignored, and this is like truth. Being ignored causes the same chemical reaction as the in the brain as getting hit. So some of you guys, you're getting the okay to hit somebody back, aka ignore that bitch. So some of you guys, it really depends on who you are. If you want, if you want somebody to hurt, like somebody did something or said something to you, or they're going, you you need to ignore that bitch. It's going to hurt them. That is a hit to them, and you won, you win. It's like a one hitter quit. It's like a yeah one hitter quitter. You're gonna knock them out the box. Okay, just by ignoring them. It's going to cause the same effect. Okay, it depends on who you are. And some of y'all, like, if somebody physically came up and hit you, I guess, I, yeah, take it how it resonates. But for the most part, ignore that bitch. It's going to cause the same effect as actually physically hitting them. Okay? Um, I also put that you guys actually have a lot of pull in the spiritual realm. And I put laughing my ass off, which to me means when I was channeling... I'm guessing somebody uh, was very skeptical of your pool in the spiritual realm. I'm guessing somebody looked at you and thought, weak ass bitch. Somebody looked at you and thought that you were weak. That's why I put laugh my ass off in parentheses because I think somebody didn't see how much pool that you actually have in the spiritual realm here. Some of you guys, this might be physical. Like, you might got a lot of pool in the physical. But a lot of you guys, this is like, somebody did not know how much pull you have in the spiritual realm. This is why when you hit them back spiritually, when you return to cinder, somebody... Mm. Okay. Anyway, so you actually have a lot of pull in the spirit realm. I also feel like you guys are being guarded by some shit that they can't even wrap their mind around. So honestly, they probably should just leave you alone because spiritually, you're being guarded, okay? <laughs> um but I put like I put I literally put in parentheses. It's like somebody tried to check you, but they had no freaking idea that you're an angel. You're a genius. Some of you guys are sky scholars. Some of you guys are highly ranked in the spiritual realm. Some of you guys are police officers, lawyers, or generals. And this could be actually your physical job. Like somebody tried to check you, and they didn't know that you literally are a lawyer type shit and some of you guys they didn't know that this is your job in the spiritual realm some of you guys are lawyers in the spiritual realm some of you guys are like police officers in the spiritual realm some of you guys are like generals in the spiritual realms highly ranked in the spiritual realm and like like i said somebody looked at you and was like look at that little dweeb it's like that and they really tried to check you it's almost like they didn't believe in who you are or what you do or your talent your skill some of you guys it's like somebody trying to break check you and they don't realize that you're a fucking officer the whole time. Okay, but this person truly messed up. Because I'm telling you, somebody did not know who you were spiritually. They don't know who you are spiritually. I feel like I also put this person, somebody is trying to intimidate you. They want you to prove yourself. Prove that you are this person spiritually. Prove that you are this. Prove this. Prove that. They want you to prove yourself and you ain't got to prove shit. Like I said, your work speaks for itself. 
But it, it really is giving me somebody's trying to intimidate you. They're trying to get you to prove yourself. This person starts insinuating things about you that are just false. So like I said, it's like somebody's like, this bitch is a fake. This bitch is a fraud. Or this dude is this. This dude is that. She's this. She's that. They want you to prove yourself. Um, but they're insinuating things that are not true. Some of y'all need to uh, sue this person for defamation of character. Okay? This person, I put, they want you to be fake so bad. And then I put also in parentheses, if you didn't, if you didn't come to get my help, why are you here? It's almost like somebody coming to your page, your channel, because they really want your help. Actually, they're not, they don't want your help. But you're somebody, let's, let's say you're a therapist. And somebody's like, that's not a good therapist. I don't like them. I don't like the way they do therapy. But they come to your office anyway, just to like shit on you. And it's like, if you don't like my style of therapy or you don't like that I do therapy, why did you come here? That's not a real painter. I don't like the way they paint, blah, blah, blah. You need to prove yourself. How, what's your, what's your, uh, it's like they want to know how you do things. They feel like if you don't t show them your technique, you're not real. It's like they want to know your technique. <laughs> So this is why they're trying to make you prove yourself. They're insinuating things about you. It's like, for some of y'all, they might not even be saying anything. They're just insinuating. I, I, I was just saying, okay? But like I said, if they didn't want your help, they shouldn't be coming to you or in your area or watching you at all, okay? I put that you guys have a very, very beautiful energy and you are very beautiful. But a lot of you guys, you are, 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 are actually warriors here, okay? Some of you guys, you may have a warrior cry. So if this person is attacking you and they made you cry, like I said, that, that may be the hit back. Some of y'all, all you got to do is ignore them. And some of y'all, if this is like a crackhead coming up to you, trying you physically hit their ass, okay? Knock their ass out. I'm just playing. But it's <laughs> something of that nature where... You are getting the okay to hit back. So if somebody has been spiritually attacking you, I know me, like I don't, I, I stopped returning to sender a long time ago because I feel like most of the people that were sending me the energy I was spiritually too strong for. And I feel like it was not fair. Like at this point, you're just shooting missiles at me and I can't feel that shit. And I feel like uh, the only reason I was returning to sender in the past is because I was getting offended. Stop hitting me, you fucking little... It's, it feel like that. Like, stop, because I could feel it. But just because I can feel it, like, they were still... It was like they needed a group. They were still uh, spiritually weaker than me. Okay? So that's why I decided to stop returning to Cinder. Because if I return to Cinder and I hit somebody that's weaker than me, even though they're attacking me first, I still feel bad. Okay? But some of y'all, y'all are getting that okay to hit their ass back. All right. Love y'all. Oh, I did pick up on a few names, but I did not get a lot of names this time, which lets me know that the names that I picked up on are actually mainly the collective, uh, because I also put in parentheses that a lot of you guys don't know their names. So let me tell y'all the name first. Um, it could be your name or their name, but a lot of y'all, you don't even know the name of the person that's been doing this fuck shit behind the scenes here, okay? Um, so a lot of y'all, somebody feels exposed by you and you don't even know them. You don't even know their name. Um... But the names I picked up on were Jody, Janine, London, Megan, Ross, Lana or Lena, Lindsay, Noah, Wendy, Israel, Faith, Tanny. And then I put in parentheses, a lot of you don't know their names. They have hidden accounts, private accounts. So even if I were to tell you their name right here, right now, you're, gonna, you're not going to know it because they're up under a hidden account or a private account or they're under account. With a name that's not their name. Um, and I did pick up on a few locations. We got New York, London, and Alabama. And I picked up on the year 1994. That could be significant. Somebody doesn't have to be everybody. But I love y'all. Hope it resonates. Thank y'all. Go take a little trip. It's such a future with me. Go take a little dip. Go take a little dive. Get that energy right. We gon' get it together. Cause the car, the cars, the key clarity, the cars, the cars, the key what you need. Subscribe to my channel.